Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here, my name is Natalie. I create all kinds of home and lifestyle content here on my channel, mostly affordable home decor, DIYs, thrift flips, things like that. I am all about decorating on a budget. I believe you can really make your home feel beautiful and unique without spending a ton of money. So um, if you're not new to my channel, you're already aware of that. But this video is going to be about my foyer and entryway renovation, makeover, whatever you want to call it. Um, I actually made over both entryways in my house, my back entry and my front entryway. So there's a lot of DIYing in this video, lots of little projects that led up to this one big reveal. So um, I do want to mention before I get into it that I did create a board and batten wall on my back entryway probably a year ago now, I think it was last summer. And I don't have any footage from that because I did do that project when I was on a filming break. So unfortunately there's no information on how I did that wall, but um, I do want to mention before, you know, since you will be seeing it, that the paint on the board and batten is iron ore from Sherwin-Williams. I wanted to mention that just in case y'all have questions about it. Cause it is like a black, you know, it's a pretty big contrast and I might get questions on it. So I wanted to mention that that was already done about a year ago. Um, and then, you know, this video is me kind of completing that side of the entry and then doing the other front entryway as well. Um, I also want to mention that, that my before and after photos will be like the first photos I can find from these spaces when we first moved in and I kind of threw things at them. Um, because since then I have done like little things here and there, like picked up little decor pieces that I ended up using in this reveal, um, kind of bitten off little chunks at a time rather than I think you know in a lot of makeover videos it's we take a space we go to the store we buy a bunch of stuff we change it all out at one time that's not exactly how I did this um, and I think that that's probably more realistic for most people um, is to do it in chunks so I'm gonna show you all kind of the original rough draft as I call it when I first moved in and just kind of threw things up to decorate versus what it now looks like after all of our DIYing and projects that we did. So I hope you all enjoy this. Please let me know if you do and let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I began just placing this peel and stick wallpaper above my board and batten wall. As you can see, I use this entry to like for functional purposes. I hang up my work bag and my work jacket. Um, that's kind of why I did it the way that I did with the hooks and everything. So it's important to me that, you know, the space remains functional, even though it is also meant to be pretty. Um, but I thought that this wallpaper would really add, you know, to the space above the board and batten, um, without having to kind of clutter it up with a bunch of frames. I read somewhere that like if you want a gallery wall kind of look without all the clutter to do like a bold wallpaper and it ended up being a really good idea. So this was just peel and stick wallpaper from Amazon. It's a dupe for the Magnolia home wallpaper um, and I, it was a little hard to match up the print. Like I had to cut some pieces at points. It didn't perfectly line up like by the roll um, but overall I'm really glad. Um, I'm really pleased with how it turned out and I think it looks really good and it adds just something a little bit fun and different to the space. How beautiful is this planter I got from TJ Maxx for only $20. It's huge as you can see like in reference to my hand. It's huge and I really want to put it um, against my entryway. It's kind of a mess right now but this is the project I'm working on as y'all know. So I went today actually and bought a plant and I'm going to go outside and plant this really quick. I'm very excited. So I got two of these stuffable ottomans from Amazon and honestly y'all the reviews are pretty good Ooh, this feels really nice actually really nice quality um they look like they're gonna be a good size so the reason that I thought this might be nice I got them to go in the like entryway underneath the foyer table to kind of fill some of that space and break it up with something other than a basket because I'm gonna have baskets in my like under my buffet table in my dining room. So I thought something like this would kind of tie in like the leather that's in the living room. I don't know. And because it's stuffable, you actually can put like storage in here. So I'm gonna fill it with some of the extra um, blankets and pillows that I have and see how that goes. It smells kind of funny, but that's okay. So it's supposed to be kind of like a cylinder kind of shape. So let's get it stuffed and see what we think. 
these ottomans are so cool y'all i love them <laughs> so i ended up putting just a bunch of our unused or less used blankets and um extra throw pillows in them i think it's kind of a great idea because especially if you have seasonal decor like seasonal colored blankets that you're switching in and out like first per season but not you know frequently i feel like that would be a great place to store them and then just switch them out with your you know new season blankets as you're changing your decor up um i just think it's a great idea for storage it's functional it's practical um i, I was initially concerned about having enough things to put inside of them but it ended up being totally fine i had like extra quilts upstairs all kinds of extra stuff um that's either just taking up room in a closet or a cabinet anyways it might as well be you know helping to fill this cool little ottoman um to add some decor to the entryway of my home and it also provides functional seating because they do squish down a bit when you sit on them but they still look really good in my opinion. Okay, y'all. So I stuck the little poofs underneath the old table because I haven't finished the new table yet. Um, it is literally in pieces over there. But I really like these. I mean, they're not perfectly shaped based on what I have stuffed in them, but I kind of like a casual look. I don't know. They're, they're nice. Honestly, I had plenty of stuff to fill them with. Um, I just use some old blankets and things that are, you know, I'm not currently using and then I can always switch it out. They do smell kind of funny, um, just like fake leather from Amazon does. Okay, so this part is kind of going to seem a little bit out of order, so I apologize, but I did have a little bit of a catastrophe with the table situation. So for this portion of my entryway, I had bought this table from Threshold Studio McGee at Target because I was really trying to find something that was a particular size. And this table was the exact size that I wanted when I saw the dimensions on the website and it was also half off. And I was like, oh, it's Studio McGee, so it's gonna be, you know, perfect. Well, it came in the mail and I put it all together. Here you just see me moving furniture. I deleted the clip of me putting it together because it's kind of irrelevant at this point. But I assembled the table myself and then realized I did not like the color. So. It's probably hard to tell right now looking at it, but when I move it against the wall, you'll see it's just, for whatever reason, it's almost like a peachy toned wood. It doesn't look right. I don't know. It looked like a natural wood finish on the website, but it just doesn't look that way in person, and it, it clashed with my floors. I don't know. It just something about it did not work for me. So unfortunately, I did end up taking that back, and that's when I decided I was just going to have to build something myself to have something but the right size that I wanted in the right tone, I was just thinking I was going to have to buy the wood, build the table, and stain it in the color that I wanted in order to make it work. Because I tried everything for this. I tried to change, you know, how I did my decor, everything, and I just couldn't make it work. So before the foyer building project, I did do my little DIY project on this bowl that I got at Hobby Lobby in the spring shop for like, I don't know, $7 or something. It was that like bluish kind of clear tone and I bought this like concrete textured spray paint um, and just sprayed it and I'm going to use it as a bowl for my entryway. So the bowl is inside kind of finishing drying. I think it looks really cool. I used up basically a whole can of spray paint so the inside honestly isn't quite as opaque as I would like it um, but I think it looks awesome. I think if I would have gotten the lighter colored textured spray paint it would have looked a lot more like that Studio McGee one. Um, but unfortunately that color was, I don't know if it was backstocked or if it was just like twice as expensive. Um, so I went with this more tan one. So I have got that drying. And while that is drying, I also have my black lamp um, outside drying. I didn't show me spraying that just because y'all, it's so cold out there. I just wanted to get in and out. But let me show y'all the um, other thing I'm working on. Our console table. I have, we went to Home Depot and bought just like, these were two by six, no, they're, yeah, two by sixes, I think, um, and then, yes, I believe, two by six, and this was a 10 foot piece that we just had them cut in half, and then I glued one piece to the other, and they're just kind of laying, um, standing up so that the glue can stick and adhere because I don't have clamps. And then those, that was one piece. It was a two by six by 12 and we had them cut into four pieces and I made two different pieces as you can see. Those are going to be the legs. 
So once this all dries, I'm gonna give it at least a day to dry. And then I will look at kind of cutting, I have to cut these at an angle and same with this so that I can fit the pieces together to make a table. It's gonna be like a waterfall table, kind of like that. So, um, and it's gonna go right here because, you know, as y'all have seen, this table's too small. I put this one back over here. It's a whole thing, but um, that's where that's gonna go. This project is a work in progress and it gets to just sit here in my dining room and be a mess, but it's fine. Another project I did before the table was done was actually buy some of this rub and buff. I believe I bought antique gold. Um, I bought this because I bought a lamp shade for the antique lamp that I found at the antique store. But the lamp shade that I bought at Target had like white, um, I don't know what you would even call this, but white metal on it. So I wanted to make it look like it belonged with the lamp. So I just took the rub and buff and painted it with a paintbrush all on like the harp of the lamp and then on the base of the lampshade like the little wires um, so that it all looked like it was supposed to be you know one lamp that came together as a set and then I also actually use the same rub and buff to brighten up the hooks in my entryway um, these vintage looking hooks that I got at Hobby Lobby a while ago are so pretty but I thought they needed a little bit of a boost to be a little bit brighter gold so that they stand out from the black board and batten a little bit better. So I used the same rub and buff and just painted that on really lightly and I think it makes a little bit of a difference. All right y'all so here is the before photo from this space. Um, just a blank white wall, some decor, and a little bench. I've kept the same bench and pillow because I love them and that pillow is actually the first thing I learned how to sew. Um, so that's kind of special to me and then here is the after. So the wallpaper is from Amazon. I'll link it below for y'all. The hooks are from Hobby Lobby, the bench, TJ Maxx. This planter also TJ Maxx. And then that is a bird's eye fern that I have planted in there. I think it's so cute. Um, I wanted a low profile plant for this space because we do hang things from these hooks. We hang our jackets, we hang our bags. Um, so I didn't want something that was gonna be obstructive. And here is the before of the front entry. Um, don't worry, our sweet, sweet little $15 scratch and dent table that I love because it was one of the first things I picked out for this house has been repurposed to a sofa table and the decor pieces have also been moved around the house and are still getting used. This was actually when it was decorated for Christmas, but these pieces were really pretty on their own, but they just didn't fill the space. They weren't to scale for how big this wall was. So here is the after. Okay, so we have a lot going on here. First thing I want to mention is the gallery wall. So these are frames that I got from Ikea. Um, they were very inexpensive and they're very light, so they hang on the wall easily with a command strip, which I prefer to nails, honestly, just because I don't like putting holes in my wall, but I will say that does make it harder for them to kind of sit straight. So they're a little crooked. I'll have to mess around with them, but um, I did just print off some 5x7 photos from Walgreens and then actually those might be 8 by 10s but I bought the mat for the frame I think the frames were 16 by 20s and then I had to buy like a smaller mat to fit my photo um, but overall the frames were really inexpensive from Ikea I will try to link them and as well as the mats that I used but overall it was a very affordable way to fill the wall space without doing a mirror um, because honestly it would have had to be a really big mirror to fill this space and I think it would have been too heavy on this wall um, especially because our gym, our gym like squat rack is on the other side of this wall on the garage. So anyways, all that to say the photo gallery was kind of the best option I thought for filling up the space and just making a statement. We hope, you know, someday to fill these photo frames with family pictures and different things like that. So um, that's the wall. And then I added my big base from Target, some decor books, my links from Hobby Lobby, the DIY bowl that I spray painted from Hobby Lobby as well, the lamp that I found at the antique store that I spray painted and added a lampshade to, um, a lot of thrift flips in this, in this video and for this decor. And then of course those little Amazon Ottomans 
that I will link as well. So that is kind of all that it took to put this whole little space together. We are changing out the light fixture too, um, but honestly, I don't know when that's going to get done because my husband's going to do it for me because I don't love messing with electrical and I'm not sure when he'll get to it. So this is going up before that light fixture is changed out, but that is getting changed out as well. So that is it, y'all. That is my entryway makeover, or if you will. I am so excited about how it turned out. I'm so proud of all the projects that we did to make it look the way that it does. Um, there is definitely something to be said about when you first walk into a house and you're greeted in that entryway and you can um, kind of, it sets the tone for what people think when they're coming into your home. So I really wanted to make sure it was cozy and inviting and welcoming, but had personal touches as well. Um, and I love filling my house with DIY projects projects and little things that way I can you know walk around my house and say I know I remember when I made that or I remember when I painted that or I remember where I found that piece at you know so and so store with when I was shopping with my friend um, I love that kind of thing about a house I love when it looks collected and not like you just went into Target and said I'll take the whole display um, personally so if y'all enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel for more makeover videos I am planning on doing a lot of editing in my space this year I'm hoping um, a lot of places that were kind of initially decorated when we first moved into the house are areas that again they have a rough draft and now I really want to go and edit and kind of really make them what I wanted and what I intended um, in the first place and I will say when we first moved in our budget was a lot smaller. I had just graduated from grad school. We were on one income. And since then we are now a two income family and things are a lot easier. So um, there's definitely more that can be done with, if you, can, if you can make your budget go a little bit further. Um, I still don't spend a lot because I just would rather not if I can do it myself. Um, but I do wanna mention that. So, so stay tuned for more makeover videos, see how I redo certain rooms in my house. I will be decorating for spring soon. That's probably gonna be in the next couple weeks, a spring home decor haul and then a um, decorate with me will be coming up soon. If there's anything else y'all wanna see, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see y'all very soon in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.